Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to this week's Children's Corner. Have any of you ever belonged to a fan club? When I was growing up, fan clubs were very popular. There was fan clubs for all sorts of things, uh, lots of them for singers and pop stars. There was fan clubs for football clubs and there were fan clubs for television programmes and all sorts of other things. And you'd join a fan club and you'd have to pay a subscription and then every so often they would send you information about whatever it was you were supporting. I don't think fan clubs are as big a thing nowadays, but you know, lots of uh, people still have fans, you know, sports teams in particular and musical stars, pop stars. But one of the things I noticed about fan clubs was uh, it, when things were going really well, uh, there was lots of fans, but when things stopped going so well, they drifted away. So if Manchester United were winning lots of cups, their fan club got bigger and bigger and bigger. But as soon as they stopped winning, people left and started supporting other clubs. The same with pop stars and singers. If they were getting lots of number one hits, they had lots of fans following them. But as soon as they stopped doing so well, the fans just drifted away. And you know, that, that's the difference between a fan and a follower. The, the football clubs all have their followers who will stick with them no matter what. They'll always be, a, I don't know, a Manchester United supporter or a Manchester City or an Arsenal supporter or whoever. It doesn't matter if a team does well or if a team does badly. That's their team and they'll be the followers of it. The fans will drift in and out, but the followers will stick with them. And you know, when Jesus was on earth, he had lots of fans. As he travelled around performing miracles like the feeding of the 5,000 with the loaves and fish or the healing of a blind man. There were huge crowds of fans everywhere he went. But you know, Jesus wasn't really interested in having fans. He wanted followers. One day he said to a crowd of people, if any of you want to be my followers, you must turn from your selfish ways. Take up your cross and follow me. If you try to hang on to your life, you will lose it. But if you give up your life for my sake, you will save it. And you know, a lot of people stopped being his fans that day because it was hard. It's not always easy to follow Jesus. You know, being a follower means a lot more than just saying, I love Jesus or wearing a cross uh, uh, as part of your jewellery. It means actually changing your life and following the teachings of Jesus every day. It means being there to look after the poor, to feed the hungry, to be a friend to the friendless, to love the unlovable. In other words, to be like Jesus. That's what separates the fans from the followers. So which are you? Are you just a fan who's in it when things are going well? Are you a follower who's making a real commitment to be with him?
God bless you. God keep you safe. And we'll see you again next week for Children's Corner.